Aloha, my name is Brady Barrows, and I've written the book Rosacea 101. And I published this book in October 2007, and today I want to talk to you about rosacea treatment. I've categorized all the rosacea treatments into five categories. And there may be others coming up, but these are the five categories that I list in my book, and it's in chapter five in my book. And the first one that is the most popular among rosaceans are the prescription treatments. Uh, prescription treatments include antibiotics, both topical and oral, as well as the metronidazoles. That's like metrogel, metrocream. Uh, and the other one is sodium sulfistatamide, which is basically sulfur. The other one that's very popular lately is azelaic acid, all the retinoids, and isotretinoin, which is better known as Accutane. These are the most popular prescription drugs used by rosaceans. And I just have a whole chapter in my book on prescriptions, which you can read too, that goes into more details about this. The second most popular way uh, rosacea is uh, being treated is trigger avoidance. Now this is avoiding any flushing or trigger avoidance of a flare-up. And I discuss this in more detail in my, my book on flushing. There's a whole chapter on flushing and a chapter on triggers. And I list all the triggers. And I go into more details. And I have some videos on each of these subjects you can, you can uh, listen to and watch. Uh, the other, the third way that uh, has proven to be very popular among rosacean and is gaining popularity is all the light devices. Now these light devices are uh, pretty new. It's only, they've only been out in the last few years. Uh, they use uh, mostly laser that is pulsed dye, laser as well as IPL, which means intensity pulsed light therapy, and also LED, light emitting diodes, have either the blue or the uh, yellow, the red. Uh, these are all being used by rosacean. Some are even buying these devices and using them at home. And I, dis I discuss them in my book in a chapter on light devices. The fourth area is secondary therapy. You see, in the past, what uh, they would do, the doctors, was in the first line of ther therapy for treating ro rosacea, they would use topical agents, and then secondly, they would use secondary agents such as antibiotics if it would, didn't respond well. Well, now there's a paradigm shift, and they're using antibiotics in the first line of therapy with rosacea. But sometimes secondary therapy such as, there's a long list of those things, like surgery, ETS, sometimes physicians will use steroids as a secondary therapy. Cell phone antibiotics like, for example, Dapsone, Electrosurgery, cyrosurgery, derma abrasion, Botox. These are like secondary therapies that are used only if uh, the first line of therapy doesn't work. And uh, these are basically kind of unusual and uh, it's not uh, used in every case. So that's why we call it secondary. And then finally, the fifth line, uh, way of treating rosacea are the non prescription and that's over-the-counter products and there's a whole bunch of them uh, anti-redness products many uh, over-the-counter products have been released in the last few years with rosacea because of the increasing demand of rosaceans to find a, a way to treat rosacea and I cover a huge chapter on uh, non-prescription treatments and what I think uh, I recommend so that covers all the treatments for rosacea in five categories. 
And I hope that's proved helpful for you. And I hope that you'll buy my book, which really goes into more details about this. And uh, it's 373 pages. And I took a long time to write this book. And I sure hope that you'll buy my book and uh, learn how you can control your rosacea. Aloha.